Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Um, we're going to be doing a simple electromag question today, uh, which is what is the net force acting on a point charge due to two other point charges on a straight line? So only along the x-axis. For this, we're going to need Coulomb's law, which is F equals K, which is Coulomb's constant, Q1, Q2, or R squared. Now, Coulomb's law, all it says is the electric force acting on a point charge, Q1, due to the presence of a second point charge, Q2. And this is the square of the distance between them. Now, do note that this also satisfies Newton's third law. Okay, so, if we have a point charge at Q, with Q1 equals 2 nanocoulombs, and it's at 3 metres, we have a point charge Q2 equals minus 1 nanocoulomb at 5 metres. What is the force acting on Q3 with 5 nanocoulombs at 0 metres? So the origin in this case. So we're going to draw our x-axis, the straightest line ever. And we're going to put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It didn't even fit it on. Okie dokie. <laughs> now, Q1. Is at 3 meters. Q2 is at 5 meters. And Q3 is at 0 meters. Now, the, the total force acting on Q3 in this case is additive. So it'll be the combination, the sum, of the force from Q1 acting on Q3 and the force from Q2 acting on Q3. And it's as simple as that. Equals F1 plus F2. Now, the force for Q1 and Q3, so we'll say F1 to 3, just like that, is equal to Coulomb's constant. Q1 is 2 nanocoulombs. Q3 is 5 nanocoulombs, and the distance between them is 1, 2, 3, minus 3 squared. Now this is, I've figured it out before, <laughs> is minus 8 nanonewtons. The reason it's minus 8 is if you look carefully, Q1 is a positive charge, Q3 is a positive charge, so they must repel. If the x-axis is going this way, and if they repel, then the force on Q3 is acting this way. So just be careful. Similarly, when we work out Q2, the force from 2 to 3 is going to be a positive force, because Q3 wants to move towards Q2, because it's attractive. Okay, so just bear that in mind because you can get the opposite signs on your calculator. F2 to 3, minus 1 nanocoulomb, times by the 5 nanocoulombs, times by the distance between them. And this comes out to be positive 1.44 nanonewtons. Sorry. Okay. So therefore, the total force is equal to minus 8 nanonewtons plus 1.44 nanonewtons, which is equal to minus 6.56 nanonewtons. Sorry, a bit of scruffy writing there, but this, this, this does make sense, as there is a strong... Char this Q1 is stronger than Q2 in terms of strength. It's going to repel Q3 and it's closer. So overall, Q3 is going to move this way with the total force. But it's not going to f f move with the total might of uh, Q1 due to the small attractive nature of Q2. So therefore, the 8 
is taken away by the 1.44, and you get minus 6.56 nanonewtons in the opposite of the x direction. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask below, and I'll see you next time.